Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. Time for the Super Touch It. All right, uh, let's start with number six. Last week we talked a little bit about cardinals. Oh, yeah. Uh, which are beautiful birds and, and what they mean to some people. Yeah. And also we mentioned angel numbers. Right. Uh, angel numbers are double numbers or sequences of uh, three or four numbers that contain repetition, like 1111, right? Ooh, you yeah. make a wish and 444 or 555. Five, five. Yeah. They mean something different to everybody, but really nothing to anybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, they are very specific and personal. Yeah. And here's why angel numbers are considered so special and magical to people. Uh, they show up in the most ordinary places, like yeah. clocks, uh, time stamps, you know, places that numbers normally show yeah. up. Yeah. Or alarms, addresses, phone numbers, right. price tags, receipts. Hotel rooms. Yep, they pop up when we least expect them. And if you believe in them, they signify luck or hope. I just didn't know they were called angel numbers. I didn't either. I didn't either. Because people are always, oh, look, it's 1111. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> are you even up that late anymore? I've been up at 1111 11 11 11 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, P.M. Yeah. All right, number five, we're looking at unique hobbies like coin collecting. Did you know it's also known as numismatics? Oh, yeah. The study and collecting of things that are used as money, including coins, tokens, and paper bills. One in three people actually claim they collect some sort of physical items. And even though not many identify as coin collectors, the popularity is climbing again thanks to TikTok and Instagram. Oh, all the kids are coin collecting now. Yeah. Have they, have they tried the direct deposit collecting? Because that's the one I like. That's a fun one. Yeah. All right, number four. It's spring. Let's talk about uh, butterflies versus moths. They're both insects. They're they, both disgusting. Yeah, they both began life as caterpillars. You don't like butterflies? No. And they're, when, moth, they're, they're moths with better PR agents, let's be honest. They look the same. They're, they're completely oh. different insects. Ugh. Hold on, Do I got a word in bite? here that no. you're going to like. I'm sorry. When the caterpillar enters its pupa I love stage, that word. Yeah. <laughs> it will emerge as one or the other. Uh, butterfly caterpillars aren't fuzzy or hairy, uh, but they may be spiky. Uh, moth caterpillars tend to be more hairy, uh, but if a caterpillar has smooth skin, good luck guessing. It could end up being either, so it's a little bit mm. tricky. <clears throat> but this was so much fun. Yeah. Poopa. I feel like a hairy caterpillar. Those yeah. are fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crawling along. You used to have a pet hairy caterpillar, didn't you? I did for yeah. several years. He's gone to be with the Lord, <laughs> <laughs> run over by a beer truck. Uh, but uh, boy, what a friend. Friend indeed. Uh, number three, they're uh, having a goat problem on Sicily's northern coast. The island town of Ali Kuti is home Ooh, to 100 cutie. people and 600 goats. The goats are everywhere, and locals need a, a break. The mayor is trying to help. He's offering an adopt a goat program. People can come to the island, make a request, and walk away or sail away since it's an island with up to 50 goats. But here's the catch. You have 15 days to catch the goats yourself. All then right. you have to figure out a way to get them home. Email your request and pay a $17 fee to make it official. Huh. And if you are chosen, mm -hmm. please give us a call so we can follow up. That's great. On your 50 goats in LaGrange. Hmm. All right, number two. Back in the day, if you were preppy, you wore polo shirts and khakis. You shopped at the Gap. You wore your collars up. But that was... 80s, 90s preppy, like Alex P. Keaton on Family Ties. Oh, in the 90s, it was plaid shirts and knee socks like Cher Horowitz and Clueless. In the early 2000s, it was Chuck Bass and Blair from Gossip Girl. These days, kids have a whole new definition for preppy. It's the ultimate definition of girly. Heavy mm. on the pink, yeah. it means bows and ribbons and headbands. Uh, anything else is either coquette, oh, cottagecore, uh, but more on those on another day. I can't yeah. possibly yeah. fit all three in one day. I mean, I'm not Superman over right. here. Mm -hmm. You only do what you can do. Number one, if you have a problem, maybe we can solve it. It's a quick one. A friend of the show met someone he <laughs> likes this weekend. How long should we wait to ask the person out? Used to be three days. Uh, then it was one day. Others say if you like someone, ask them out on the spot. Yeah. Others say you need to follow them on social media first, then <laughs> slide into their DMs. What are the rules these days? Oh, for goodness sake, just ask. Yeah, 
I mean, if they don't like you, waiting a week's not going to make them like you anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. It's like either they liked you or they didn't. Yeah. You know, rip off the Band-Aid. You find yeah. out. Live in the moment. Man, I've been single for 23 years. I have no idea how it <laughs> works. <laughs> we do. We Frankly, do, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I know what you don't do, though, is call them. Because I'll tell you what. It's cringe. It is. I yeah. mean, I well, I know my own daughters don't answer the phone when I call, but that might just yeah. because it's me. It's but you, they yeah. say anytime I tell them, them, anytime I tell them to call someone, be like, well, what? It, just call the person. Yeah. Are you insane? But they Facetime them. Mm. Well, write them a letter. Yeah, I mean, they would be more likely to do that. But it's just they, they'll wait. You have to text. You do that. I'm like. Just call and you'll find out right away. But yeah, it's like right. it's like I'm suggesting yeah. the craziest thing on the planet. Right. Or go mm. stand out in front of their house. Yeah. And knock on the windows. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lots of ways to yeah. get there. It's a six and six. God, we I think we really have. Yeah. Oh yeah.